Good evening. This is Miss Poopy Duty Wolf, Miss Kentucky Porter, reporting to Channel 66 Eyewitness News. Today's uh, topic of discussion is about. It's about. Woo! It's about pig bombs. Now, some of you might be wondering what is a pig bomb? Alright, so pig bombs is this. See, there was this uh, show that. Uh, not really show, but this documentary that that they showed not too long ago on one of those animal channels on cable. And they were discussing, you know, how there were this huge population of pigs that have taken over certain parts of the U.S. And what has happened is um, there's also a portion of people who are trying to uh, kill these pigs. So um, what has happened is that these, uh, this portion of, you know, people that were trying to p kill these pigs were really upset because they couldn't kill the pigs. You know, they'll take their rifles out and their guns out and they'll go shooting in the woods and then these pigs would always get away. And then one day, one of these people decided to go and wrestle with the pig. Like, not only shoot the pig, but also kick the pig. And to his shock, the pig bit him. And he was really, really surprised because he didn't realize that pigs have really powerful teeth. Because, uh, you know, he just thought pigs would be really naive. Now, all I have to tell all of you is that if you're a pig and someone is trying to kill you, it's about time those pigs fought back, baby! So I was really, really happy to see all these people injured from pig bitings and pig deaths because they were going into the pig's territory trying to attack the pigs and the pigs fought back! Russian pigs uh, a long time ago. Somebody bought a Russian boar over here in the U.S. and then bred or something like that. So, straight, ironically enough though, they actually traced the pig's lineage all the way back to Russia. And they were interviewing these, you know, Russian people who hang out outside caves or something. And, and they were, even they were smart enough to know that they have to leave the pigs alone. Because the pigs, you know, obviously are very, uh, good at defending themselves. So, you know, I mean, I mean, can you imagine, you know, I can't believe it. they made this documentary with these rednecks, you know, and, oh, and for those of you who are watching the show on the internet and are not uh, are watching it from Europe, even though I don't really know if anybody's watching the show because sometimes it just seems like it's just full of spam, but just in case, I'd like to think people are watching the show, but it doesn't matter. If you are watching the show and, and you are like from Europe or some other country that's not American, you're wondering what a redneck is. You see, a redneck is actually a person who lives, you know, in certain strange, not strange, but in certain parts of the U.S. and they have a long red neck. So I'm telling you. Next time, you know, you're walking on the street and you see some American tourists, take a look at their neck, you know. And if it's really red, ask them, hey, are you a redneck? You know, you can ask them that. It, 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 it would be okay. You could try that. And, and, and if you do ask them that, let me know. Then anyway, back to the pigs. So, you know, I was, it was just the greatest pig documentary that I've ever seen, ever. Because, you know, here are these pigs, you know, have been repressed, they've been killed, they've been shot, and they decided to fight back. Ha! And what was even great is that the pigs now, the population is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And some of them are even getting attacking and killing humans. So I imagine that. Here you have the human attacking the pig, you know, it, a lot of times, you know, to eat them for bacon and all that stuff. And now the pig is attacking the human and eating them. Isn't that, isn't that great? I mean, it's, you gotta love it. You know, the whole food chain, you know, the humans eat the pig, and now the pig is eating the human's back. Because I'll tell you something. If I was Scooby Doo, was a pig, and I was living in the jungle, and somebody came out to shoot me, I would jump on them, I would kick them, I would fight them, and I would die with my boots on! That's what I would be doing, I'm not gonna give up and let them kill me, I'm gonna fight it! I'm gonna fight till I'm dead, till the last drop of blood is squeezed out of me! So, you know, let's all clap! All of you sitting there, watching the show, let's go clap for all those pigs out there! All those Really? 
two bombs. So um, that's great, because you drop a bomb on the pig, the pig just threw that bomb right back at you. Which would actually come to think of it, it would be kind of nice if, you know, um, you know, when other countries get bombed, it would be a nice way if actually the people who are getting bombed can take those bombs and throw it back at the people who threw the bombs at them in the first place. And you know what some of them do, you know, like for instance, if somebody throws a bomb at another person and then the other person picks the bomb up and throws it back at them, it's funny how the person who falls through the bomb acts like such a victim, isn't it? Isn't that odd? Isn't that very odd, isn't it? It, it just gets, it just gets, it gets, see, it just becomes this whole political war. You know what I mean? Anyway, so, uh, yeah, well, that was pig bombs. So, um, hmm, very, very interesting, isn't it? So, uh, <clears throat> once again, remember, folks, uh, it's, it's always good. You guys must think about having cable, but I'll probably discuss that in another show, so you can actually find some good animal documentaries. Aside from, like, a hundred million channels of crap, you find at least one channel you could watch. That is the cartoon channel. The only two channels on cable. That is side on public access television. That's all, you know, you watch on cable. At least that's all Mr. Mine watches on cable. 